This is why you need to know about 3D AI. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, we are entering the next level of AI generation, text to 3D. I'm gonna show you some tools and the importance of this is it connects AI to your real life. This is not just the third dimension, it's the fourth dimension because with 3D, you cannot just enter the scenes you create. You can also, for example, 3D print them to bring them out of the screen into your real life or you can use it in spatial computing, in AR, in VR, in VR chat to actually connect with these objects, play around with them, or actually become the characters you create in 3D. Let's check out how to do that. So first, let's look at the well-known candidate here. It's Luma Labs AI, and now you can also use it in their browser, which is pretty useful. And they have this very nice gimmick here on their website where you can move with the mouse over the letters. I could do that for hours because it looks just amazing. But below that, you can see we have here two buttons. One is Imagine. This is for the 3D objects. And then we also have Capture where you can upload scenes and then you can generate 3D landscapes, 3D environments from that. The cool thing is you can also check out what other people have done so far. You can click on that and you can move through these rooms. That's really mind blowing. For example, here we have Grand Central and then you can click on that and you can move around that with your mouse. You can zoom in and out of that. When you zoom out too far, you see this kind of cloud from the outside on how it is generated from all the data. And then when you zoom back inside, you can move around in this 3D space that is really mind blowing. But the more important part here is actually the genie. And as you can see here, you can create beautiful 3D objects that we see here in the background. You can enter your prompt down here. I have entered a cute bunny and then you click on create. On the top, you can see here also two tabs. One is Imagine, which is this part, and then you have Creations, and that is what you have created so far. I didn't really see a limit, so probably you can create as much as you want. And the first thing you get are these low-res versions. So let's click on one, and this is what it looks like. It's not super impressive, but it's also not too bad for a low-res version. When you like what you have created, you can click here on the right side to make high-res. It takes quite a while to create the high res version, but once it is done, you can see you get something that is pretty stunning. It's not just a very beautiful 3D object, it also has very nice textures that make sense from all sides. That is pretty beautiful. And the best thing here is when you look here on the right side, you have different presets. At the moment it says custom, but when you click on that, you get a list and look at that list because it says here Roblox and it says we are chat. So you can actually directly import that in your games and interact with that. You can create here your VR character and then minutes later be in the game as this character. How cool is that? This is really connecting AI into your real life, into your social circle. That is amazing. Also, by the way, up here you have 3D printing. Make your cute stuff and then actually put it into your real life room. Of course, there's other options out there. One is called Meshi and it can create 3D models with AI. Pretty similar. You can scroll down here, see some information. You see here also the prompt that has been used. And of course, you see here some very impressive 3D models. This here is just one but you can of course log in for free, create an account. When you do so, you get 200 credits and they show you here some very beautiful looking 3D models that they have created. The ones that I have created don't look as good as this, but probably you also need some experience to just get better results. This looks pretty stunning. The generation is pretty easy. On the left side, you have here your prompt, negative prompt, the art style, and then the generate button. Every time you click that, it costs five credits and it will create four low resolution models for you, which look like this, for example, here, beautiful blonde woman in a red dress. And then if you like what you see, you click here on refine, it costs 20 credits, which means at the best 
case, you need 25 credits to create a 3D model, which of course really limits how much you can do with 200 credits. Now this is the final version with the higher texture here. It looks pretty cool from this perspective. However, let's zoom in here a little bit more like this. And then we scroll to the side. You can see that actually the shape is still pretty low resolution. Just the texture is pretty high and it's a projection from the front and from the side. You can see here, there's also a little bit of overlap here, but it's trying its best. And I think if you have a better prompt, you can actually get better results than I did here on my second try. Also, you get here the UV map so you can see how that looks like. Another contender for the 3D generation with AI is CSM or Common Sense Machines. You can see here that they have some pretty cool preview models in their showcase that are nicely detailed, have beautiful textures on them. And the interesting thing here is they allow you multiple different ways to create these 3D models. So when you go to the generation page, you can see here that there is image to 3D, which is a good start because then you can actually have an image that already has the texture and the structure of the object that you want to have in 3D and then convert it to 3D. You also have your real-time sketch to 3D. That sounds pretty amazing. And you also have text to 3D as we have seen before. But because most of these are premium features here, I can't show them to you in this video. Another cool thing they have, by the way, now for their premium users is that you can apply from an animation library different movements to the 3D models and animate the mesh. That is also pretty amazing. Now let's check out another tool that's called Binary Optical Grids. And this is something similar to what Loomer Labs is doing with their 3D spaces. They also show the nice quality that this is giving you higher quality, of course, than the other research model that you have here. And you can see that all of that looks pretty good. And this is actually a way for us to go into the images we have captured with our camera. So this is the future, not only of spatial video and photo where you can actually move around, not just look around, but also, of course, 3D worlds that you generate with your phone in a very easy and natural way. Another interesting thing is Head Studio with text to animatable head avatars. You can see here Doctor Strange being animated, talking, moving his face. The quality is not super high, but it's a good start. And compared to images that are animated to talk, and this has a third dimension, so you can rotate this around and potentially use it in your games. And as you can also see here in the text, it says real time rendering 40 frames per second, which is amazing because that also indicates it can be used, for example, inside of video games to live animate characters to sync their voice to what they are saying. And with text to audio, you can actually generate everything with an AI to create an actual interaction with an NPC. Another thing I want to show you today is Stable Projector. Now, this is not specifically creating 3D models. Instead, it is creating the textures for 3D models. The interesting thing here is, as you can see, you can import the 3D model. You can create the texture, but the texture is a projection map. This is why we get these black areas where there is no texture. But afterwards, you can paint that out. You can mask that out to actually paint in and create the textures for these missing areas. So you can see here that he is creating multiple versions of the texture and then using masking to blend them together for the best textures so that you can combine, mix and match the textures until you have a result that you like the most. Here you can also see a selection brush to mask out an area that still needs some texture so that this can be rendered and can be blended together with the textures we already have for a final texture, even with some adjustments here for the hue, saturation 
and so on. Another thing I want to show you is Gala 3D. It's text to 3D for complex scene generation with layout guided generative Gaussian splatting. So you can see here in these rotating elements, this is a more complex scene, lots of elements at the same time, not just one character, but a full scene with these combined elements in there. That is also pretty amazing. Again, at the moment, this is just a research paper, but hopefully we can play with that pretty soon on our local computers. So as you can see, all of these only have a part of the puzzle, but everything is coming slowly together to actually create something amazing and bring us into a future where we can actually interact with the AI creations, not just create stories and images, but full worlds and actual real objects that we can have in our real life. Write in the comments what you think about that. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.